In this video, I'm going to explain to you why you don't want an all or nothing approach when it comes to your health. Um, for you to uh, get um, leaner and fitter, um, stronger, improve your energy levels, get metabolically optimized, um, requires regular um, action taking. Uh, this means things like um, regular um, intense exercises that stimulate your heart, stimulate your muscles, um, re uh, regularly feeding yourself with the most nourishing foods and um, reducing the frequency of foods that increase fat storage, increase inflammation, you know, to optimize your body. And, and this requires you obviously to be doing these things on a regular basis every, you know, every day, every few days, um, not uh, doing it for, you know, bursts of a few weeks and stopping. I'm not doing it, not taking these actions once a month, for example, that's not frequent enough. You need to be doing it more frequently than that. And, um, but often what happens is, you know, we, 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 we make a decision, conscious, conscious decision to uh, change the way we exercise or even, you know, start exercising, change the way we eat, uh, prioritize certain foods, minimize certain foods. And then we stumble uh, and we fail a little bit uh, briefly. And, and that's for a variety of reasons. Either we lose the willpower, time uh, is, is shorter, we have less time, we become busy. And that's fine. Everyone, that, that happens to everybody. The, 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 the challenge that many people face or, or uh, that causes them to be stuck is they have this all or nothing approach. And when they slip up, they feel that they can't get back up and carry on acting unless they do things perfectly, which is always the wrong way to think about it. It's not all or nothing. You don't have to plan for this perfect workout or a perfect meal day or um, a day in which you either have zero treats or it's a write-off. Um, there's always always an in-between. In fact, the in-between that's regular is better than the perfect action that's planned and is and irregular. So if you're if you reach a point where you're ready to do a workout, a 20, 30, 40 minute workout, and either you're not feeling it, or you don't have the time, that you can feel some pressures on you from other things that are happening in life. You know that if you do an hour's workout in the gym, then some deadline is going to be approaching or you some um, uh, you know some activity that you need to do in your life with regards to your other half or your, your children or your work is going is going to creep up on you. Then you then you think I can't do this hour workout. I'm not going to do anything. Instead, just do a ten minute workout. Do a ten minute workout. Do a fifteen minute workout and a five minute stretch and fine. And then next time, you you you'll then address the other issues that are limiting your ability to to do the longer workout or or the trip to the gym. And the same thing comes to meal preparation. Let's say you haven't prepared your meal very well for the, the, the first day of the week you don't don't just write it off and then go to your canteen or a local eatery or order something from uber eats that's going to be bad for you um you just find a way to have the imperfect meal just see don't write off that day just because it has started off very well um again it's not not don't have the all or nothing approach imperfect regular action and then, and then when you when you take that imperfect action, then then reflect and plan for the next day or the next week or whatever it is that the action that you're going to take, and then think about what you can address to then improve that um, day. Otherwise, you get stuck in a cycle of never-ending, you know, poor action or inaction. Uh, so that's what I want to think about um, um, today. Think about this, not having an all-or-nothing approach. Just think about somewhere in between that allows you then to develop and keep moving. Let me know what you think of that and I'll see you on the next video.